forecast. We warn you first. Good evening, I'm forecaster Kaylee Hunt, and taking a look at the satellite radar, it was mostly cloudy for this early morning, and then later on throughout the day, the cloud cover started to leave the viewing area, making it partly cloudy for this afternoon and start to the evening. But the western part of our viewing area, they did experience some pop-up storms and showers hit their viewing area. Van Horn, Marfa, and a little bit of Alpine all saw a little bit of rain today, as well as Dryden. But the rain will be long-lived later on by 10 p.m. the rain will decrease and just start to make its way out of the viewing area as well as the cloud coverage. It really isn't going to be all too cloudy tonight. And then by tomorrow morning the cloud coverage will start to walk right back up into our viewing area. So we're going to wake up to some cloudy skies but unfortunately for those of us in the northern basin and those of us in the Permian basin we will not be experiencing any rain tomorrow. That is going to be southeast New Mexico as well as the western part of our viewing area along the southern border. But here's a look at our drought monitor. Again, these do get updated every Thursday, and the Northern Basin and Permian Basin is where we need to see some rain for those living south of I-10, not showing up on the drought monitor at all. But there again, looking at the temperatures right now, we're looking at temps in the mid to upper 80s, 86 for Midland and Odessa, 84 for Big Spring, 85 for Fort Stockton. But seeing where we are now, again, compared to this time yesterday, we're showing up relatively warmer right now by about 4 to 6 degrees degrees, but later on in the evening, we're going to get out of the 80s and get down into the mid to upper 70s, which is a little bit of a good news. 10 p.m., 79 for Midland and Odessa, a little bit warmer for Wink and Pecos, but south of I-10, even cooler in the lower 70s, if not the mid to upper 60s. And then by tomorrow morning, well, we're going to get down into the mid to upper 60s for most of the viewing area. 69 for both Big Spring, Midland and Odessa by 7 a.m., but then we're going to warm right back up into the 80s by lunchtime. So tomorrow is going to be very similar to the temperature today. Now, it is relatively windy outside. 11 miles an hour for Midland and Odessa, 13 for Big Spring, and 16 for Fort Stockton. Throughout the evening, it's actually going to remain at a constant pace of mid to upper teens for the Trans Pecos area and mid to lower teens for the Permian Basin. So, yes, just a little bit windy out here. And then by tomorrow morning, well, wind speed's going to decrease for the Northern Basin and Permian Basin, but Trans Pecos still be just a little bit breezy. Switching gears and looking at the dew points, definitely feeling and just a little bit humid today. Dew points are sitting at mid to upper 60s, so there's a lot of moisture in the air. And by later on this evening, dew points for most, if not all, of the viewing area will still be in the mid to upper 60s. So a humid night as well as tomorrow morning. Now, dew points are just a little bit above average, which is why it's just a little bit more moisture in the air, which is why we may think it's just a little bit more humid than what we actually have been experiencing this past week. And throughout the day, even around 1 p.m. in the Permian Basin, dew points will still be in the mid to lower 60s. But how warm is it going to be tomorrow? Well, we're going to climb right back up into the mid to upper 80s, just like we did today. Andrews forecasted to be 89 for tomorrow. Big Spring, 88. Midland and Odessa, 89 as well. Grand Falls, 89. And then Pecos, a little bit warmer at 90 degrees. Sanderson, 82. And the mountains, mid to lower 80s. Marfa forecasted to be 81. Now, here's your look at the seven-day forecast, and I have some good news. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit windy with a high of 89, and then Thursday, 40% chance for some thunderstorm activity. Friday, 50% chance for some more thunderstorm activity with a high of 82 on Friday. And the first official day of fall is this Saturday, 10% chance for some rain, but I'm excited for this weekend because it's going to be in the mid to lower 80s, and it's our first fall weekend of the mm -hmm. year. Very excited about that. And we could be seeing some rain. Could be seeing some rain, which is always needed, always especially in the Permian Basin. Yeah. And I think a problem a lot of people, it's a good problem to have, yeah. but people are thinking, should I water, should I not water? <laughs> it's a good problem. It's a good problem yeah. to have because we, we've been having a lot of rain lately. Yes, good problem.